drink some water or something. <clears throat> How y'all doing? Welcome. It's prisoners TikToks. <laughs> they going viral. Now here's the problem I have with the only problem I would have with somebody from TikTok going viral. When people see stuff go viral, they usually copy it or think that it's cool. And I would surely hope that people aren't dumb enough to think that, you know, jail is cool. But I guess not because I seen a picture and it said people making jail look like a summer camp. It's jail. It's jail. Oh my God, I don't even know what to say, bro. Y'all y'all kinda y'all kinda different. Y'all kinda different nowadays. You kids is different. Y'all need to go outside more. Mm -mm. That ain't it, bruh. Let's start the video. See, 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 see. Skipping it, I don't care. The lives of incarcerated people in. that were once hidden are now going viral thanks to the younger generation. People became so hyped up about them, they get to see what it's like. I think it's cool that the, the I think it's kind of cool that they're doing TikTok though. I think that's kind of interesting. People who have posted the fact, their prison experiences on the platform. Eight years. The Daily Meals. That was a good trade that I posted. I'm sorry, I'm on Discord, y'all. In there that are so gross, like it'll run away from you before you eat it. It looked like it. Door time, and the how-tos for prison life hacks, like heating up hot water. See, bro, stop! Don't don't do no crimes, y'all. Don't do no crimes. You won't even have to do this. You won't even have to do it, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Requires to be cooked, so the only way to cook it is. It's still kind of smart, though. No cap. And while cell phone footage from prisons has found its way on social media before, people share this, man. These TikToks are confronting misconceptions of prison life. I wanted to show people what it was. I like mean, it's inside, <laughs> like it's confronting them for sure. People in there. Do I don't know if it's a good thing. And removed from society, mass incarceration in the U.S. is vastly misunderstood, with entertainment perpetuating ideas of rowdy prison life, and those incarcerated drawn up as soulless criminals who are all dangerous to society. Anger management. I I mean, it depends on what part of the prison you in, bro. Some of them, most of them, depending on where you at, might be very dangerous to society. I, I'm just saying. Bianca Tylek is the founder and executive director of Worth Rises, a national criminal justice advocacy organization working to end the exploitation of people that it targets. So I always knew that I wanted to, at some point, work on criminal justice issues. So are you saying that... Hold on, I know you're not saying what I think you're saying. Incarcerated, ...which is resonating with other TikTok users. As people, many times, who are young, as people who are charismatic, as people who experience joy, and... They people! It's, it, they just in jail! I knew that! And I think that's really... Just because really white people starting to figure out now, that was, what, what's that supposed to change? With one being the most common. Bro, everybody, oh, heck no, bro. Contraband in prisons. Lawmakers stress their potential danger to facilitate crimes. There have been some instances where contraband cell phones were used to threaten state senators, blackmail civilians for money, as well as extort other Okay, you okay. can't, well, you yeah, know, I ain't everybody. made their way past prison walls in the thousands. Don't get me wrong, there is people that will use it for bad, you know, like use it to make hits on outside and stuff like that. But if they were so worried about them, then the staff members wouldn't bring them in. Cell phone smuggling has been previously caught on camera, from being stuffed inside sports balls and thrown over fences to getting dropped by drones. Oh! <laughs> he couldn't catch it. Bro, how do you not have security against drones? Bro, it's just down 20, bro. If you got a jail, you got to have some type of security against drones. That's kind of funny. That's how it all comes in. And the punishment for being caught with one can What's range what? from time in solitary confinement to years added on to sentences. What? It's risky, but I figured if it did go any type of viral or anything, that it would probably take a while for them to catch on, and by that time I'd be gone. Kevin only started posting about a week before he was set to be released back in April, knowing at that point it would be less likely he'd get caught with the phone. And those we spoke to who are still in prison asked to be recorded over the phone for their safety. What? Like I am J Money. To make sure that I'm careful on my hands, you know what I mean? Yeah. Six years I got caught with two phones, and then this year they wrote me up for being on TikTok. In 2018, almost 12,000 cell phones were seized in Mississippi. I mean, bro, get off TikTok. So I don't know what to say to that one. That lawmakers cannot stop the onslaught that is coming in, so they're trying to stop their use in a different way. With the it's cell phone jail, bro. Introduced by Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. But y'all is Carolina people, but Senator it is Lindsey jail, Grimm, you know? 
The bill you know? will allow state and federal prisons to use phone jamming technology to prevent cell phone usage. This technology is currently prohibited by the FCC. The bill's motivation might not only be to... What is that? Is he... Th whoa, whoa bro, is that vomit? ...conditions hidden from the public. What the f***? What's wrong with him, man? TikTok helps us actually see the thing that so many... Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not trying to hear nothing this lady's talking about. I saw that people in prison was humans way before whatever the freak this video is about. But I do think it's funny that they on TikTok. And that communication and insight has made TikToks from inside prisons go viral. Okay. With accounts boasting over 300,000 followers. I mean, I mean... Networking allows for their voices to be heard and learned from. One thing I knew that it was a bunch of kids on there. So I kind of wanted to post it as like a reality of what would happen if you go to prison. You know, it's not any place that you want to end up. It's not. And maybe even make some outside money to get by. J Money and other accounts... Now that's smart. Now see, that's where you're smart. But perhaps most importantly, people are using TikTok for the need of human connection. A lot of people my age Bruh. right now is still young. They still use Instagram. People are still using Facebook. And what are you frowning on? Like, the flood? I still want to be a part of that. This desperation is a desperation of connection to other humans, to community, to support systems, to life, to the rest of the And then you're going to show the depression. <laughs> okay. That you exist. And we know they exist. It's they everybody else who act like they don't exist. To be We've been saying this shit for years in the motherfucking hood, bro. Level of I know I'm cousin, but come on, uh, this, this video kind of fucking dumb, ain't it? When, when you use that narrative. It's to keep in contact with basically the outside world. I keep in contact with my family first. That's the first thing I would use for my phone. This call is being recorded. To accept charges, press 1. You may start the conversation now. Hey, babe. Ashley Martinez is 27, and her fiancé, Jeremy, has been incarcerated since January of 2019. Earlier this year, Ashley started posting her calls with Jeremy and other aspects of their relationship on TikTok. People be like... Oh my gosh, you're dating someone in prison. Why would you stop your life like that? And I'm like, oh, they like don't are. stop. They still alive. What you mean, bro? People still feel that. So then I started coming up with all the hashtags, and pretty soon, Ashley found her. Hold on, hold on. Was that a toe in his mouth? Showing that it's not only those behind prison walls who are affected by mass. So we gonna act like she didn't just have her toe in that man's mouth. If you drive an hour Maybe it wasn't in his mouth. Maybe it was in their space. But still. If you always have snacks ready. It just feels better to be a part of a community that can relate to you. I had my doubts about being a prison wife, you know, because it a is prison wife. So you got basketball wise, you football you wise, you got prison wise. Okay, okay, okay. They got three babies. If you love someone, you love someone, you just don't leave them because they're incarcerated. I can bet my life on it. Her most popular TikToks are the phone calls with her fiance. I love you, girl. But those jail phone calls add up. They're a dollar pay for per 30 minute phone call. He'll call me multiple times back to back all day, every day. So I spend quite a bit. It used to be forty dollars every couple of days. But you're spending it for him, right? Might be changing. Families cannot. Woo! To be oh my gosh, for a phone call. The two point three million people inside and their families are susceptible and preyed upon by a one point two billion dollar prison telecom. Now that's facts. That's Thank facts. You ain't lying about that. Okay, okay. Any working to make phone calls free, or at least no more than four to five cents. Wait, wait. You, yeah, you. In yeah. the U.S. with the Martha Wright Prison Phone Justice Act. The Thank you. Is that there's a really simple solution to contraband cell phones, and that's making phones within prison facilities, calls within prison facilities, free. The act would also allow for the FCC to regulate the calls, helping prevent predatory telecom companies from profiting off of those already exploited. Where? The bill was recently passed through the House of Representatives as part of the revised what US was this video? Act, and now must oh, be wow. passed through the Senate. So this is, I don't want to say it's already time, happened, but... Ashley is still calling her fiancé every day, and will continue posting your experiences on TikTok. Hey, hey, yo. Yeah. Me bringing my relationship to TikTok. <laughs> he in the back rocking. Okay. It's like a different perspective of someone who's in prison. Happy birthday to you. I hope it changes Man. your mind because not everybody's bad. And people like Kevin and those currently incarcerated continue to do the same, showing others that they're still human. The joy of incarcerated people is natural. That boy made himself. Oh, he's cooking on a bed. That's kind of smart. 
it is watching people inside still be able to smile, to be able to Bro, dance, what, to be able what is, to What do you think they're going to, to do? Music feels like an attack for some people. Boy, he was wavy! Your desire to see them suffer. Bro, hi, hold on! Yeah. What kind of... No, see, that. see, because I'm a... I can't even say it, I'm finna say. Because somebody's going to be like, right, I want to see what the products look like in jail. I was going to ask what he got in his hair, but I, y'all, some of y'all don't know how to take a joke. <laughs> listen, listen. Uh, that was actually quite informative, if you ask me. Uh, I didn't know that people are just now figuring out the whole prisoners are people narrative. But with that being said, <laughs> you know how it's going to go. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> my brain just went blank <laughs> like comment subscribe let me know what you want me to react to i'm gonna try to get back to it the next day i took a little break off i slowed down for a bit to get some stuff sorted out but things gonna be back on the road like a mother snowball you feel me so with that being said until you see me with that green outline around my face and around your screen Did I mention that we be on? Yeah, you be good. Never mind. Just, just, just go.